Now, what functions get powerful is they take dynamic inputs or any variable you want inside of that. So let's put a name variable here and we'll say, yo, and then we'll add the name and then we'll add an explanation point. So we'll make a function that says yo to somebody, right? Whatever their name is. And so we'll say, yo, nothing, <laughs> right? Because that's always obviously what you would do. And it says an error. It's expecting a string. So you can't add a string and nothing together, right? So we have to put something. So let's put Jesse in there. And it'll say, yo, Jesse, and an explanation point. And so that's how you have a function with dynamic inputs, and you can put whatever you want in there. We could also put variables. So we could say name one is Jesse. Name two is Brandy. Name three is Alice Mann. And we could say name one. And then we just copy pasta coding two times and say name one, name two, name three. And when you hit run, you'll see that it'll print all of those names. Yo, Jesse, yo, Brandy, yo, Alice, right there. And so that function is defined once, but it has some dynamic capabilities based on what you put in, changes the behavior of it. And that's why functions become really powerful because you can start adding all the other Lua basics you learned in here, like variables and if statements and for loops. And these functions kind of keep all that and you just have one name to invoke that power. That's why once you still start building your own functions, you feel like a wizard because you can just call one function it does all this cool stuff it may even call other functions. Yeah, cool stuff, man. So that's the basics of inputs dynamic in a function.